Last month, there was a packed rally in the Capitol Rotunda in support of gun control measures. And tonight, there's pressure to move on those bills in light of the mass shooting at an elementary school in Nashville, Tennessee yesterday. Chief political reporter John Croman is live at the Capitol with an update. John? You know, the two main bills, the gun safety, the universal background checks bill, and the other one, uh, which is the red flags law, those have been riding along alone as standalone bills, but now they've been added to the main House public uh, omnibus bill, public safety omnibus bill known as the catch-all bill. In other words, if you vote against gun control, you end up voting against police funding at the same time. Outside, flags at half staff in memory of those killed in the Nashville Covenant School. Next up, we have. While inside, uh, the House Oldman Public Safety Committee Freeway. takes comments on gun control. Try telling that to anyone who has buried a murdered child. Try telling that to the parents of the school children in Nashville. The House Public Safety Bill now includes universal background checks for handguns and assault style rifles, something only firearms dealers do now, and expanding that to private transactions. So we have background checks on many gun sales. We should have them on all gun sales, with you know, reasonable exceptions. You give them to a family member, uh, that kind of thing. Representative Dave Pinto and fellow Democrats are also pressing for extreme risk protection orders, known as a red flags law allowing police or family to petition the court to temporarily take a firearm from someone in a mental health crisis who poses a threat. We've advanced these proposals in the past in the House. It's always been the Senate controlled by Republicans that have blocked them. Um, now that's a change. But gun control opponents assert what happened in Nashville should not move the needle at all on Minnesota's gun debate. As with most mass shootings, the person wasn't prohibited from possessing a firearm. We don't know for a fact, but it's probably likely that they acquired their firearms legally. Rob Doerr lobbies for the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus, which opposes both the Red Flags Bill and universal background checks on people who are buying or borrowing firearms in private transactions. That's a really onerous conduct on people who are just engaging in peaceable commerce uh, that really isn't going to do anything to affect the people who are actually worried about getting firearms. The point is we need to do more to keep guns out of the hands of people who've shown themselves to be dangerous. Some people have demonstrated their dangerousness and we should be acting on that. The third bill is not as controversial. It would up the penalties for people caught with those switch devices that have allowed them to upgrade a regular semi-automatic weapon into a fully automatic one. That one is uh, going fine. Uh, we'll have bipartisan support. There are a couple of bills that did fall by the wayside when it comes to gun bills. One of them would require guns to be locked and, uh, and uh, stored when they're not in use. Uh, and the other one uh, would, uh, would have required, um, well, I'll get to that. Uh, okay, it looks like I'm out of time, so I'll get to that uh, on, at a later date. Back to you. All right, John, thank you.